Okay, Von Bolt, let's roll. Time to record scientific history. Ready, my director? Dudes, dig it. Witness my latest, greatest invention ever. Cool, a movie. What's it all about? Get out of the shot, Kent. Whoa. With my supercharged electromagnetic paint, I'll generate a magnetic power source for the world's first hoverboard. Cut, cut. Just say hoverboard. That's the sizzle. Thank you, Mr. Video Critic. Gotta go. Time to watch a Mega Blast Mad Adventure. Watch and wonder. <laughs> The magnetic field is glowing me to it! But the only way to stop is to... Crash! Did you get all that? Yeah, my director! Cool. If Mega Blast Man wants to share powers, he must be worthy. Bring it, oh Mega Blast Gal! Oh wow, he's going to use his particle beam disintegrator. You make it look easy, Mega Blast Man. Now they're gonna lock lips and no powers. Bonjour, Kent. Want to chat? Sheila, uh, uh, hi. You doing any experiments? No, just watching Mega Blast Man with Omega Blast Gal. Would you want to be my cyber steady mega buddy? Siki? My girlfriend. And maybe doing Mega Blast Man lip lock? Kent, what is wrong with you? I knew that would happen. Call me when you get back to being normal, Kent. Au revoir. Sheila, wait. It's hopeless. Girls don't like me because I'm such a nerdy klutz. With bad hair. Too much? Nine! That is JD's magnetic paint! My fingers feel all tingly. Ah! I am disassembling! Wow! It's like I have my own superpower! I am so ready for today's game! Kent, what did you do to Von Bolt? I just fixed my hair, pointed, and boom! <gasps> I'd say you sprayed my magnetic paint on your hair and your body absorbed it through your hair follicles. Creating a magnetic field around you. All metals nearby become magnetized and are attracted to you. Too many words. Cut to the sizzle. You're a walking magnet. I bet Mr. Edison would like to see this. Applesauce. There's some kind of magnetic interference. That would be me. Com computerized systems are highly sensitive to ma magnetism. <gasps> Whoa! We better put a lid on Magnet Boy before he wipes all our hard drives. We need an insulator to trap the energy. My hoverboard gloves. They're insulated. Wear these until I figure out how to demagnetize you. JD, what can we do to help? Take Kent to the game. Better to get him out of the lab. Come on, Kent. We've got a soccer match to win. Soccer? You mean scrape my knees and get grass stains on my shorts? I think not. Mimi's going to be there. She's this really cute new girl in gym class. I don't know. Getting rejected twice in one day could be awful. Besides, I'm not very good at soccer. But you could be, with a little help from my magnetic paint. Introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Kent. Uh, 
but you could call me Magno Blast Lad. <gasps> Isn't he a new hero in the comic book series? <gasps> You're a Mega Blast Man fan? You wouldn't be familiar with Mega Blast Man's lip lock, would you? <laughs> Did I say lip lock? I meant uh, soccer ball block. You can block a soccer shot. You look more like a nerdy klutz. Bring it. skating tonight. Want to come along? You mean slipping and sliding on shoes with wheels? <laughs> You're so funny. See you there. Warning! That is JD's magnetic paint. I'm just borrowing it for these skates. Not without JD's authorization. Von Bosch, calling JD, is that the right... <laughs> Down in the mouth, Von Bold. <laughs> Kent has commandeered your magnetic paint for a roller skating ritual. That's what happens when you get mixed up with girls. Guess I won't be demagnetizing Kent with this. Then let's try plan B. Salutations, JD. Mr. Edison, any ideas on how to demagnetize something or someone? Why don't you ask Michael Faraday? He discovered electromagnetic induction. Thank you, sir. Wow! Cool stuff! A visitor! And not a moment too soon. Are you wondering what I'm doing up here? Like some bizarre chandelier? You could say that. <laughs> I fastened iron soles to my shoes and forgot that I'd magnetized the metal ceiling earlier in the day. Just pull that lever on my demagnetizer and you'll set me free. <laughs> so, what can I do for you, my boy? Any chance your demagnetizer comes in liquid form? Liquid? What a novel idea. Well, if electrons in metal are aligned, they create an electromagnetic field, like so. Uh, but demagnetizers scramble the electrons, so they are no longer aligned. And that means... <coughs> does that help you? Sure does. Thanks. Magnoblast Lad is here and ready to roll! <laughs> Too many comic books. a lip-locking moment. You are a weird, Magnoblast Lab, in a fun sort of way. <gasps> you have metal braces. Oh, no. <laughs> Kent, that was very rude. I couldn't help it. It's my, uh, magnetic personality. Out of the way, nerdy klutz. Allow me to show you the true wizard of the wheels. No one steals Magno Blaster Lab's Mega Gal. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Point me into submission? Blaster lad. 
that must teach the evil doer a lesson. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. We've got to do something. I've got this. Kent, your emotions are amplifying your magnetic power. Put the glove back on and let me demagnetize you. No one demagnetizes Magnoblaster, lad. My magnetic powers are complete. Man, he's definitely read too many comic books. There must be a way to reach through to Kent. But Magna Blaster Lad won't let you. Wait, I know. Hey, Kent, your hair's a mess. Hmm. I feel strangely normal. Yeah, I'm just nerdy, klutzy, ordinary Kent again. Don't go away, there's another episode coming up next. Subscribe to Cartoon Channel.